and today we are just going to discuss about ultraviolet radiation usually the uv rays is of uh, we can say that uv rays is of three types uva b and c and the uh, nanometer ranges ranges between normally defined by the photobiologist as uva 400 to 320 nanometer and uh, UVB 320 to 290 nanometer and UVC 290 to 200 nanometer and uh, you can see this a uh, 290 nanometer is an uh, division between UVB and UVC since a shorter wavelength which is unlikely to be present in the terrestrial sunlight except at high altitude although the radiation at the wavelength shorter than 2 3 Twenty nanometer is generally more photobiologically active than the longer wavelength. The UVR has a recent advances in molecular photobiology indicate that a subdivision at three thirty to three forty nanometer. So when you say that the time of the day where UV radiation is higher, so twenty to thirty percent of the total daily UVR radiation is received. One hour either side of midday in summer, with seventy five percent between nine a.m. and three p.m. And the season is in temperate region. The biologically damaging UV or reaching the earth surface shows strong seasonal dependence. However, seasonal variation is much less near the equator. So the next one is the surface uh, reflections. so less than 7% is normally reflected from the ground surface but when there was in gypsum sand then it was able to reflect 25% of the incident uv beams and if it is a fresh snow about 30% has been reported and even the uv b reflectance of fresh snow exceeds 80% in general each 1 km increase in altitude increases the ultraviolet flux by about 6 percentage conversely places on the earth surface below the sea level are relatively poor in uvb content than nearby sites at usually this a uh, uvr is has a main application in photobiology photosynthesis dna damage and repair then antimicrobial properties 